This year is the 50th anniversary of the first heart transplant in Cape Town. That was an epic event, but is heart transplantation still relevant today? Over the course of those 50 years, only around one out of every 50 patients who could benefit from a donor heart ever received one. So it's a frustrating process. So what we've been trying to do in the UK uh, for many years now is to build a miniature British artificial heart. One that produces uh, a blood flow of about five liters per minute. You plug it in to the failing heart and it rests the failing heart and makes it better. Add to that stem cells and we now have stem cells that can remove scar from patients' hearts after a heart attack. One interesting thing I can tell you is, is these small miniature artificial hearts have a rotor that spins at about 12,000 revolutions per minute. So that produces continuous blood flow and not the blood flow that the human body is used to. Human heart empties and fills and produces pulse. These small artificial hearts uh, produce continuous flow. So what we do is produce pulseless human beings. Nobody believed it was possible, but my very first patient whom I implanted a, a similar device in in 2000 lived for eight years. So we now have essentially a direct alternative to a heart transplant.